Welcome to Rem TV and welcome back to my Madden Connected franchise of the Denver Broncos. This is episode 12, so if you guys aren't caught up, look for a playlist on my channel. And here we are for week 13 against the Bengals. They're 4, 6, and 1. We are 8 and 3. I believe we are one game ahead of the Chargers. They're 7 and 4. So we really gotta just maintain uh, direction and just try to take out take out this team. We're gonna be Cincinnati in the Paul Brown Stadium. So see you guys there, and let's go Broncos. Well, good situational football being played by a defense. They understood where the third down play was. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Henderson, Henderson, I'm gonna kill you. I got loose, and then all of a sudden he fumbled the ball. Oh boy. Make a mistake in this phase of the game because you can t it's, it's all on him. All eyes there. He's got a chance to make a punt return, and instead, he ends up putting Oh up my gosh. Return. And that's where he touched down. Right from the turnover, they score a touchdown. I got lost in defense. I'm not going to lie to you. And that's a quick strike right off. Fumble recovery by the. Bengals, that's a five second play. Damn it. Oof. Good move. Good pass by Keenum. That is Courtney Sutton with a catch. That's a good rush. By Damian Williams, that is a first down game of 12. In the end zone, that's caught for a touchdown. That's Demarius Thomas with a catch in the end zone. That is his fifth touchdown of the year as he celebrates with the Broncos. He was wide open. I saw the blitz coming. I think it was a blitz. Actually, I wasn't paying attention, but I uh, I had an audible for a play-action pass. I saw Demarius wide open. Oh gosh, that's a big run. That's a big run. That timing gets thrown out the window. Timing was great there and a big run. He's going to air one out. Give me that. Oh, that's an interception. That is Justin Simmons catching the end zone. The Bengals going for that home run. That's Justin Simmons' third interception of the year. Let's go, man. You become a much running play. You just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case. And that play got bottled up. He's going to sling this. Deep what a catch for Demarius. What a catch. And they finally get him, but not before he reaches the 30. He was just going for it. And the Broncos have 130 total yards in the first quarter. All right, got to settle for a field goal here. And it's going to be good. We're going to be up. 10 to 7 at the end of the first quarter. A lot of offense for the Broncos here. That's a good sign. Hopefully, you can keep this up. Those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Good tackle by Justin Simmons. They're trying to do the screen play. They're ready to catch on. That's some fast defense by the Broncos. Here we go. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. There's Keenum now on second down. Oh, he, that's a big run by Cortland Sutton. And that is a big catch. Broncos with 123 yards passing already today. That's another touchdown. What a pass. What a catch for the Broncos. That is a 43-yard throw by Casey Keenan. What a catch over the shoulder by Demarius Thomas. That's the second touchdown of the game. A little floater right above the shoulder for the touchdown. All right, let's stop them here. You know we can do it. 
See what I mean? I know my defense can do it, man. No gain on the play that time. So they jumped on the left side of that line. And you know when you're at the end okay. spot, you are well, like about half a yard away now. Waiting for the pistol to fire and go. And, and he jumped we can still stop them here, man. They're gonna try to punch it in, but we can stop them. We can stop them. Damn it, it's a touchdown. <laughs> That's a touchdown. I was paying for the run actually. I figured they're on the half yard mark and I figured they'd go for it. So whatever, it's fine. Oh what a catch! What a catch! By Emmanuel Sanders. We're calling a timeout. Alright. That's all right. We still got a score here. We still got, you know, three points, hopefully. Oh, shit. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. How did I miss time? That I was impatient. Ooh. He could go all the way. This is a big run. This is a big run. He could. Oh, my gosh. What a big run, though. By Damian Williams. Quick cut. That's the seventh attempt of the game. 95 yards. Might be Demarius. We'll see. What a catch. That is Emmanuel Sanders for the touchdown. I panicked a little bit, I'm not gonna lie to you. I did. And I threw it for the first receiver that I saw off balance. Luckily, the, the defenseman completely missed it. But that is a TD for the Broncos. So we're gonna be up by 10 for a first possession in the second half. And that's a sack! By Brandon Marshall. That's his fourth tackle of the game. The Broncos, the Broncos offense, I mean defense and offense actually, have been firing in all cylinders. Playing so freaking well. Oh, what a cat. What a throw by Andy Dalton. Uh, another big touchdown pass. That's what we do. Oh my gosh, the defense just gave that up so easily. That makes me really unhappy, actually. Oh boy, that was another quick strike. We gotta stop those type of plays, man. You get up in your 30s, you're still playing receiver, but you're around that long at that position, you're doing something right. Just remember this when he was young, that is Damian Williams with 102 yards rushing this game now. I believe that might be one of his first 100 yard games this season. But offensively, they're just amazing right now. On play action, now Keenum. Ooh, what a catch! What a catch to Hireman. I did not expect him to catch that. Oh, that's, I'm sorry, that's Fumagalli. <laughs> I actually was not looking that direction. I pressed the wrong button. I got lucky. Went right over their heads. For the touchdown. Now this is one of the highest scoring games I've had all year, but you also give a lot of points defensively. And uh, we really need to just stop them here, maybe make a field goal or two, and just get some distance between us. He's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Third and two for Dalton. Damn it. Just a second late. That's a first down for the Bengals. This is what I'm talking about. We, besides the interception, we haven't been able to get those key plays on third down. You know, the end zone's about 15 for 19 passing. We need to stop them. But they really want, though, 
It's not even getting the third down. Another big play. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. After giving this big plays, they weren't able to capitalize. So we're going to settle on giving up this field goal here, and it's going to be a one touchdown game. Let's hit the field goal with about six minutes left. Or rather, six, uh, another seven minutes left, and yeah, we, gotta, we just got to keep the ball here. Don't do anything stupid. And keep going, man. And that's a sack! That's a sack by Bradley Chubb. And that pushes them back to 4th and 13. They have no choice but to punt it now. Big possession for the Broncos. They're going to take it right into the two-minute warning. That's going to be a first down for Damian Williams. What a beast game he's having right now. That is a two-minute warning. The Broncos still up a touchdown. Trying to burn. That's a catch by Mano Sanders for the first down. Uh oh. Oh no. You get the first bomb, but is it worth it? Grabbing his ankle. This is not good. Okay, to make it a two possession game. Oh my gosh. I thought I messed it up. <laughs> but we are up two possession now. Or rather, two touchdowns. Wow, that's an interception <laughs> by Brandon Marshall to end the game. We win 34 to 24. We played a heck of a game, especially Demarius Thomas. And, you know, unfortunately in real life, he did just get traded as I record this. I know maybe a few days behind, maybe a few weeks behind. But Demarius Thomas had a big, big game as well as Case Keenum. I guess you can't have one good game and the other. But we just had an offensive onslaught. And yeah, it was just a really well played game. I just had one fumble by uh, Henderson. Let's take a look at that here. Let's take a look at the stats for the Broncos. Oh, that's the Broncos. There you go. Case Keenum, 143 uh, QB rating. I think that's the highest he's had all year. Going 15 to 25, 308 yards, uh, four touchdowns. I think with a long of 46. I think I believe that was a touchdown. Uh, let's go to the rushing. Obviously, Damian Williams had a big game. 122 yards through 15 carries. Uh, no touchdown, but he did have a big 59-yard run. Uh, then we had the receiving crew here. Uh, pop, 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 pop. There you go. We had the Marius Thomas with 139 yards receiving, only through four receptions. Uh, Manuel Sanders as well had 79 yards receiving through five catches. Cortland Sutton with 66. Uh, Jeff Hireman with 22. Uh, Troy from Miguel had two yards. Uh, but he did have a touchdown, but the Marius Thomas had those big two touchdowns. Uh, and then as well as Emmanuel Sanders uh, defensively. I think it was a pretty sound game. We only had one intercept, uh, two interceptions. Brandon Marshall had the late game one. Uh, we had, what, two sacks, but he did give up a lot of yardage. But, you know, it. Well, what would I, how would I put this? Um, it was just enough. I thank God our offense was, was on top of things because if we were not playing as well, if we were playing kind of like how we've been playing all year, we would have been destroyed. Uh, Dalton would have ran through through us to be true to be honest, but let's see what we advance has some sort of upgrade we could do. Uh, unless we could hold on to he only has fourteen hundred uh, XP, so we'll just back off on that. And let's see if anybody oh look at all these upgrades. Look at that. Riley Roby with a uh, with a uh, upgrade available. I'm not sure if I should, you know, if I should just go with the scheme or if I should just upgrade everything at once. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the scheme, to be honest. The boots him up to an 84. Uh, acceleration, awareness, and man coverage improved. Uh, let's see who else. Uh, Godsis, uh, Godsis, I don't know how to say his name. 
Um, let's see, we do run stopper. There you go. Plus one awareness, plus one block shedding, plus two tackle. Cool. Jeff Hireman, this guy's been clutch for me. Um, to be honest, I feel like he really needs to improve on blocking. Um, Possession-wise, uh, I'm gonna have improved my block, so I could I could run better, so I could run better. Um, let's see, break tackle, lead block, uh, medium route, run block, finesse, run block, power plus three. Wow, and short route plus one. Okay, the last one's uh, the right tackle, Veld here. Uh, we'll just do that. Plus one awareness, plus two block, plus four block, plus run block, plus four. Nice. All right. So that is a big, big game for the Broncos. And, you know, we are doing things, man. We're doing things. We're doing pretty well. And we're just going to simulate to the following week here. Uh, Matt Paredes looks like he could be cleared. But, you know, I'm not going to rush him. I'm not going to rush him. Only because he uh, could get injured again. So I could wait until next week. We're facing the Browns with 7-4. and four. Um, He's going to come back to him playoffs, which is a need the most. I don't want him to get injured again right before. So, I mean, the center we have right now has been doing okay. He's been doing okay. Uh... So we are preparing for the next game against San Fran, who's four and eight. We are nine and three. Um, let's check out the standings here, and let's see if we have more of a lead here. Uh, AFC, oh, we are actually on top. Wait, timeout. The Browns are number two in the AFC. They're seven, four, and one. Patriots are seven and five. Texans are seven and five. Steelers are seven and five. Chargers are seven and five. Wow. Wow, good for you, Browns. So this should be an interesting game. You know, let's see if I if I beat them. Who would I be helping? I'd be helping the Steelers. Interesting. All right. All right. Um, so then we have this game against... I mean, rather, the Chargers are 7-5, as I said before. Two games back. Uh... You know, we'll we'll see what we can do, um, but we're gonna wrap it up here. Um, we'll wrap it up here for this episode of my Denver Broncos Connect the Franchise. I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. If you did, click the thumbs up button, leave any comments below, and try and get at least three to five likes. And uh, let me know what games games you guys are playing right now. Um, let me know if you recommend it to me. Uh, it's probably gonna be Red Dead, Spider Man, or anything else out there. But yeah, let me know what you're playing. Uh, and what system I guess and yeah and if you're new subscribe and click that notification bell to be part of the notification gang uh, I guess I'm starting that um, but yeah I'll see you guys later hope you guys have a great day and peace